Hi, this is Suzanne in Ohio. I have another little file folder journal to show you today. These are still the ones I've been making to use up what's on my desk. This is number seven, made out of a file folder. The image on the front of this journal is fabric. Um, and I love this little peacock print, so I used him. And it has some swingy dingy beads there. Uh, mounted between um, two, two twigs. So that's the front. I'll turn it over so you can see the back. And the back is a repeat print, only going the opposite direction with a little collage work. This journal is pretty chunky, as they all have ended up to be, because I just don't know how to stop. So <clears throat> it'll come with the closure of the same fabric as the the peacock print. So let me show you what's in that and we'll do it this way to try to keep it flat. Get these beads laid down. So the file folder is folded up this way and then cut as you know like a folder pocket and it's just a lot of collage work and like I said, whatever is on my desk. This one is, again, very full, loaded. And I'm going to go fast because some of you don't want to see all this detail. You just want to see the main thrust. Um, I have an original cabinet card, which I copied. And then I mounted this photograph inside. And it's a tag. You can remove it and put your own stuff in there if you want to. Uh, this first vintage document forms a pocket behind. And that pocket, I can see right now I need to back you out a little bit. Because I'm not going to be able to see all this stuff. Um, a hand fan. If you've seen my other videos, you know I've been making those. And again, this was one that I had made for a lady's weekend retreat and I left their advertisement right on the back. You can cover it up and the whole idea is that hand fans were um, used mainly for advertisement. They had the name of your church on the back or the, your funeral home or local businesses. This beautiful piece of ephemera was a Pinterest find. It's the front of um, a music sheet printed music so I'm not going to try to put all these back exactly because it'll just slow me down so let's go here um, a little tuck spot here piece of vintage of ephemera opens up everything has writing space on it these are of course handkerchief prints textile prints a lot of them are self-explanatory, and they're always a hodgepodge of whatever is laying on my desk, <coughs> excuse me, and whatever I can get to work in the journal. And as I've said before, I love color. Um, so it's not muted, it's not grungy. It does have a lot of color to it, but I try to make everything flow. So handkerchief print, handkerchief print, doily print on the back of there. Uh, any colored papers in here will be my hand dyed polymer papers, which are really beautiful. Little tuck spot, piece of ephemera, stray thread, which I will get later. This is a three pocket page. It has a doily. I'm sorry, two pocket page and a piece of ephemera. So your first pocket is here, second pocket here. We'll put them back later. Uh, vintage documents printed on wax paper or vellum, faux vellum. And this is something new I use this time. I have so many of these uh, label holders for the edge of uh, hanging files. Well, those are always bent and they have a little crink in them. But I found a pack in my stash that are just flat and self-adhesive. So they're for the edge of any kind of page. 
So I put some vintage paper and some words in there and stuck that on the end. I really like it. This is a piece of ephemera, which obviously I did not trim. I'll get all those threads off later. Tuck spot here, ephemera. I'll tuck spot there, a little vintage shoe, writing spot on the back. And I was, um, this I know came from Calico Collage. <clears throat> Just happened to have a peacock feather. Went very well. Um, <clears throat> here's a, well, let me get back in frame. Here's a journaling card, and there is a tuck spot on the back of that, and it fits down behind these little um, journaling cards or tuck spots that I created a couple weeks ago, and I told all about them in my last video. They're made with fabric snippets, index cards, and copied off. This is an interesting piece. These pages I got out of, these were patterns for toll painting out of a painting magazine. So I gave the painting magazines to the thrift store, but I kept all the patterns. And I thought they'll go well in a journal. This is a uh, napkin decoupage, a thin layer of tissue paper, and then a tuck spot and a little um, chipboard charm. Another tuck spot, envelope that opens up, I did put some ephemera in here, and you could put anything in there you want. And as always, I try to make my colors halfway match for whatever page or spread that I'm working on. This is a tuck spot. It doesn't have anything in here. Here's a print of one of my textile art pieces, and it's printed on tissue paper. So that just gives you a nice little, you can lift it up and write on it, and then it kind of hides itself. And uh, upper corner tuck, piece of ephemera here, onion skin paper right here, fabric tuck, um, and pieces of ephemera, and another one of those tabs, and on this one I wrote the word awesome. And this is all mounted on one of my polymer dyed papers right there. Another tuck spot here, piece of ephemera with a little peacock on it, and um, napkin collage tag, writing space, original found paper from a wedding album, piece of embossed and waxed paper, and then this is, let's see if this will come out. I don't know why it's stuck right there. How about I get it out later? But it's a print on that um, masking paper that Nick the Booksmith was telling us all about. Vintage text. And then this opens up. You have plenty of writing space over here. A little tuck spot here little piece of ephemera, and you can write under the flap. And this little piece of ephemera kind of keeps the flap open. And then, of course, there's a writing journaling card in there. And then that closes back up. Tuck spot and a facsimile of um, telegram. That fits right there. And that opens up, and we're at the center of the journal and this I made it like a file folder some more of that paper that masking paper and in this pocket one of my um, boy I'm out of frame um, textile prints and a fabric postcard and I think this was Firefly Studio or I I, I do believe she had that original idea. Nice writing spot on that. And over here on this side, the first thing is a very large tag. Writing spots on the back. And then this little booklet. And I'll open it up. And it 
has a little picture of a girl on a telephone. It is a tuck spot, so I put a little stack of books in there. And then when you open it up, it has a notebook in here, found papers, and underneath the notebook, a pocket with a tuck spot that has some cute little ephemera in there. It's a bitsy little letter that does open, and you can write in that and then retuck it and hide it away. And then the pocket has some ephemera in it. And then over here, another pocket on the side, a couple pieces of ephemera in there. This ephemera is really interesting. Old documents and lots of textile prints. Either dresser scarves, doilies, handkerchiefs, whatever the case might be. So I'll tie her back up later. I'll just lay her aside and then we'll keep flipping here. Um, a handkerchief that's a, the real handkerchief right there with a lace edge on it that forms a pocket. And in here I've put um, three pieces of ephemera, a piece of a textile art quilt and two prints. That one just happened to have a peacock on it as well. So it does fit right there in that fabric. And then on this side, let me move my support. Maybe we can lay it down. Okay, a tuck spot here. Here's another one of those fabric <coughs> snippet journaling cards or tuck spots or whatever you want to use them for that I made. And on this side, I know this little print came from, well, no, see, I'm not sure. Either Nick the Booksmith or the Rebookery, I, I don't know, but I, I bought some of her <coughs> little botanical prints and cut them out like little die cuts. Um, and this was a Nancy seller also. All these people will be listed below. A piece of tissue paper, stained tissue paper behind that. So you, in essence, have two pockets on this page. And the colors just blend beautifully. Textile print. Some ephemera in here. Everything has writing space on it. A little tuck spot here. Some more of that, which I think is onion skin paper. Or if not, it's rag paper. Um, Mr. Blue Jay is mounted on a twig here up against a brick wall. And there's a very old vintage letter put in behind him. Just sets him off really well. And he is a pocket. So here's a print of a very large um, needlepoint, which forms a very large um, card, a journaling card. And on this side, I put, let me take it off so you can really see it, um, a very large enhanced paper clip. And see the paper clip is right here. It's a combination of paper and lace and different images. Now this envelope does not come open, but that little um, this paper clip can be moved anywhere you want to in the journal. But I stuck it right there. Doily print on the background, tuck spot, edging, and another one of those. Um, and they are plastic, but um, you put some vintage paper and some words in them, and, and they're self-adhesive. I think they work real nice. And uh, writing space, collage sheet of snippets of old, old poems, more writing, tuck spot, get that in there. 
a nice tech spot here. And this has a little booklet in it as well. Let me see. I'm not sure which way's up or down, but I'll open it up for you. And I'll tell you, I made this out of, it's a box of cards and envelopes that you get so you can print your own wedding or party invitations. So when you open it up, I put the, a little handkerchief snip right there, a true piece of fabric, little flip down, and then some found papers. And then this little tie right here that went through the original holes in the um, cardstock is the same handkerchief that I put on the flip right there. So we'll tie that up later. We'll just keep going here. Writing spot, fabric edged. And this beautiful print, I think this is Screech Owl Studios, I'm not sure. And then you open it up and there's a tech spot over here, piece of ephemera. And I was able to get some pages downloaded from a public domain <clears throat> website, some botanical website, and I cannot refind it, but they have um, images of very old vintage botanical catalogs, and this was a page print from that. And here's a nice little tech spot. I can hardly see what I'm doing here. I'm leaning over, and so then that folds right back up. Uh, tech spot here. Um, vintage ephemera here. The gist of the story. Um, all these things just tuck right in here. Dyed paper. And on this side, a tuck spot. And this little cutie. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing. Um, I don't know if I told about these before or not. Let me get something over here to lay behind her so you can really see her. Um, this I copied off of an original piece that I have. These were, or back in the day, they came with crepe paper skirts on them. And then the idea was to flare out the skirt so it would stand up on your table. And this was your place marker for when you played bridge. So I redressed her in an old handkerchief and some glitzy little fabric there. So um, she just simply a little writing spot on the back. And she fits right in here. You could give her away as a gift, which would be cute. Okay, a uh, tuck spot there. Piece of ephemera. Embossed tuck spot. Um, let's see, what is that? Oh, a piece out of an old um, spelling book. Tuck spot. A doily feather print. Handkerchief print, music, another one of those peacock feathers makes a tuck spot there. And then on this page, this is a pocket, little collaging down there. And on this one, I put, um, let me see if I can get this unwound. Uh, it says, this is a wallpaper envelope with some ephemera in it, and it does have a glassine window in it, so you, and a tuck spot on the front. So you could put anything in that that you wanted and keep things hidden away. So that's your secret little pouch. So when you turn this over, this unfolds again. Plenty of writing space here, a uh, tuck spot here, little piece of ephemera writing area, and then this little folder um, pocket. Beautiful piece of pattern paper, <clears throat> and because it had a pen and the hand on it, and this is a journal. Of course, here they're writing a postcard, but I lined this paper with some of that um, masking paper 
and then stain the edge of it. It's got a doily on it as a tab. So that fits in there. And then this closes back up. And here's your back pocket of the journal. Boy, I feel like I'm making a mess. Another um, chipboard charm. And then one of these little pockets. These glassine window pockets, I made uh, several of them. I've been putting one each in these journals I've been making. I also put a print in the background, which looks nice by itself, in case you don't have anything in it. And when you do, of course, your letter or whatever you're putting in there will show through. And on the back here, we have the main pocket. And then a second pocket created by this old text or document print. And then <clears throat> one more of these little booklet type things. And I put, a t uh, let's see, two pieces of ephemera here in the side tuck. Some of this paper. This is a tuck spot. And the edges of this paper are distressed and a little bit stained. And I just put this colored strip in here because uh, that masking paper is a tiny bit frail. And I didn't want the strings to pull through. So two more pieces of ephemera here in the back. And there's the final little booklet right there. Okay. Well, you can see how full she is. Um, you can remove some of it. Oh, I forgot to show you the. this is the boho bead. Just one big one back here in the back since there were so many on the front. But you can take some of the ephemera out of this that comes with it and put your own in and shuffle things around. Use some of that ephemera for some of your own projects or whatever you want to do. This book is approximately I'll say seven ish by seven ish, but and extremely chunky. It'll close a little bit better when I get the closure on it, which, like I said, it will come with a closure out of this same fabric. Very thin. I'm going to tear it down very thin so it doesn't get in the way of these beads. So there you have it, number seven of what's on my desk. And I appreciate you watching. Please tune in again. Um, it took me quite a few days to get this video done. But there will be something else up on my channel real soon. So come back and watch. Thank you.